LaptopKey.com, your source for replacement keyboard keys. Notice, when trying to repair your laptop keyboard keys, searching by the laptop brand and model may not always be enough information. Many times, laptop manufacturers produce keyboards that look the same on the outside, however, have differences underneath the keys. The differences include the hinges, retainer clips, and cup color. To help you find the correct tutorial for your key, we have created a searchable database at LaptopKey.com. Simply go to LaptopKey.com, select your laptop brand, model number, and then a visual list of key types will appear. Select the video tutorial that matches your key. That's all. You're now ready to fix your keyboard. Alright, so we're going to do the J um, letter. So this is the J section here. You can see that there's one large metal hook here at the bottom and two smaller ones at the top corners. So that determines the position for the plastic hinges, which are these. And you can see that um, <clears throat> in this case the large hook is at the bottom but uh, you have to look at the different keys because they can change position. Sometimes the large hooks can be at the top or even the side. So uh, the position for that determines the position for the hinges. And we're going to determine the position for the hinges first, uh, then click them together to make one. And once that is together, we're going to click it onto the keyboard and finally the keycap on top of that. So let's start out by determining the position of the large hinge first. You can see that it has two pins at the top and two smaller ones at the bottom. Now I say top and bottom because the large hook is at the bottom here, so the small hooks are going to align wherever that uh, large hook is. If the large hook were to be on top, then we put the uh, small pins at the top. So this is the right position for it. Now make sure not to put the entire piece upside down because it looks the same but it won't work. So you have to feel underneath the vertical bars. If you feel a bump in the middle, that faces and touches the keyboard. If it's one smooth piece, that faces away from the keyboard. So put this down in the right position for now. Get your next piece, which is this. And you can see that this has a bar at the bottom. That bar is going to go wherever the, uh, the large hook is. In this case, it's at the bottom, so that faces the bottom. Then it has two pins in the middle that are going to click into the middle of the large piece. Then it has two small pins at the top. Those are going to click onto the keycap. So now that you know the position for this piece, actually you have to make sure not to put it upside down like this because it'll look the same but it won't work so you have to feel the top bar if it's one smooth piece that faces away from the keyboard if you feel a gap or a thinner part in the middle that faces and touches the keyboard so now you know the position for both pieces you uh, get the small piece and you put it over the large piece and you just put it in the center and then those pins that are in the middle of the small piece have to click onto the holes that are in the middle of the large piece. So you just push down on it really gently in the right position for those pins to click. Now both hinges are one. You need to uh, put the bottom, the bottom bar of the small piece underneath the large hook. And basically you have to hold it in place so in order for the uh, small hook to go around those, I'm sorry, the pins have to go around and under the uh, metal pin. So go ahead and do that. Once that's in place, you just put your key right in the center and that's it. You push down on it. Um, I don't have the uh, rubber cup on it, but that's basically what you have to do. Now, for the large key, it's the same procedure, only on a larger scale. 
so we're going to assume we already have the hinges in there and what does change is the keycap has this metal wire behind it so this is the right position for the keycap make sure to flip it over this way like that so we can actually look at the uh, the fittings behind the keycap you can see that at the bottom here in the close to the middle there's two large hooks and at the very bottom corners there's two uh, fittings the pins that are the fittings that are at the very bottom are going to grab onto this wire so you just put it right in the middle and click it in then flip your keycap over this way again and put it over the section where you're going to be placing it in now you want to open your wire up like that and flip your keycap over this way so you can actually see the wires now this wire goes into these loops that are on the keycap I mean the keyboard so the first loop is over here to the left and I mean to the right and the other one is over there to the left so that wire has to go into those loops first do one side let's do the right one first Okay, now do the left one. Once that's in, all you have to do is lay your keycap your keycap on top of the hinges and click down on it evenly on all four sides. Now for the large key, I mean the space bar, um, it's a bit of a uh, a longer a longer process. You have to put the hinges in first, then. Uh, you know, if you don't have the rubber cup, you put that in. Now you can super glue that rubber cup in place if you want. It's not really necessary. But then uh, you get th these two metal wires are the same size, by the way. So you just want to put the wire underneath the fittings that are at the very left and right that are designed for this uh, wire. So go ahead and put the left the right side in first and do the uh, left side now determine the position for the space bar you can see that the space bar itself is cut a little bit more square here at the top and at the bottom it has an angle to it so now what you want to do is just put your keycap right in the center and push down evenly on all sides on the keycap in order for the wires to click onto the keycap and the hinges to click onto it also. And that's it. LaptopKey.com, your source for replacement keyboard keys. Notice, when trying to repair your laptop keyboard keys, searching by the laptop brand and model may not always be enough information. Many times, laptop manufacturers produce keyboards that look the same on the outside, however, have differences underneath the keys. The differences include the hinges, retainer clips, and cup color. To help you find the correct tutorial for your key, we have created a searchable database at LaptopKey.com. Simply go to LaptopKey.com, select your laptop brand, model number, and then a visual list of key types will appear. Select the video tutorial that matches your key. That's all. You're now ready to fix your keyboard.